At the time of me making this video, there is an impending ban on the leading social media app, TikTok, in the United States. For those who don't follow along with United States politics, the US Congress passed a bill in March 2024 that will require Beijing's own company, ByteDance, to either sell TikTok within nine months to a year or be banned. And there seems to be mixed sentiment online about the upcoming ban. While reasonably, a lot of TikTok creators who depend on the platform for their livelihood are not happy, a lot of avid TikTok users are actually excited about the ban and say that it might actually be needed. And then there's me, someone who has actually never created a personal TikTok account. So that's what we're going to be exploring today is what life is like without TikTok. And for those who are new here, my name is B, and this is B versus the System, where we talk about all things science, technology, engineering, and math. So I do want to get into today's topic, but before we do that, I do have a little bit of a disclaimer. So while I have never made a personal TikTok account, I of course have been on the platform before. Uh, one, because I have friends and my friends will send me things from TikTok every now and again. So I'll see things like in the link. Also, uh, I have run a few different businesses. And while I didn't make TikTok content, I had like a social media team that has. Um, I've probably been in like maybe two videos or three TikTok videos. Technically, I'm sure they're out there somewhere. I think maybe even like a family member or like a friend has made a TikTok video that I've been in. So but that's like pretty much the exposure that I've had to TikTok. Um, though I will say like I am on Instagram and I feel that a lot of the content from TikTok eventually makes its way to there. Uh, but I don't have like the constant stimulation that comes from being on TikTok and checking it. Um, I actually went and like checked my uh, screen time to see like what apps I use the most and um, just how much screen time I am using. And each day I'm using a little bit over three hours um, of screen time in general. And my most used app is YouTube, surprise, surprise. <laughs> um, and then the second one is Safari, which is like just web browsing. So I guess it's just me like looking up things. Um, and then Notion, the Notion app that I have on my app and then like somewhere lower on there is Instagram. Um, I do, I did use Instagram more than I thought I did on weekends. Like I think my highest time of using Instagram on the weekends was like close to an hour, which um, it was only like one day or so, but still um, I do use social media. So I don't want to seem like I'm coming from like some place of someone who doesn't use any social media. I just don't use TikTok. So Getting into it, uh, why I never use TikTok. Also, this is going to be like a super uh, like no edit, just talking video. I do have a few points, uh, but I wanted to just make that clear that we're kind of just talking and I'd love to know you all's experience in the comments if you could let me know as well. So the reason that I never use TikTok is actually, um, <laughs> it's like a very probably like, I don't know, silly reason. Um, I did not like the fact that the platform has autoplay. Like whenever you go on um, the platform, you're just hit with content and it's like, you can't control it. And I remember the first time going on the platform uh, when someone sent me a video, it was just like, oh, whoa, like <laughs> it's already playing. Like I don't like autoplay in general, like even on, um, what is it like streaming sites like Netflix, I figured out a way to turn off autoplay because I hate it so much. So autoplay, like anything with that, I just don't like it. And I think because TikTok has that, that's why um, it was just a no-go for me. Um, I have used, of course, other social media. Um, I did wanna go a little bit into like my own experience with social media because unlike a lot of people, I've actually built a social media platform before. I used to run um, a semi-popular uh, platform for people who are into anime and gaming called Quirk Chat. And um, it was a video uh, thread platform. It's actually had several iterations, but its last version was like a video chat. Think of like a, um, a video version of Reddit. So um, I did wanna say like, I do have experience both being on social media and creating social media. And what I will say about TikTok specifically, and just actually social media in general, 
each social media platform has like a mission as well as features that are geared towards that mission. Um, for example, um, if you look at say Snapchat, Snapchat, um, even though like they started off maybe one way, uh, they are very focused on the camera itself, like the native camera on your phone and just like really enhancing that um, to the point where it's like, I don't know, they want that to be like the native feature almost as close to your eye as possible. So when you look at their roadmap and things that they're creating, um, it's really camera focused. That's why whenever you first open the platform, at least the last time I checked, um, it's the camera that you see. It's not like a feed of like your friends, et cetera. It's the camera. They're wanting to like capture the moments as if it's your eye. That's why they also had um, the glasses, that the spectacles that they created because they want to capture uh, moments as close to your eye as possible, as well as like AR features. They have whole labs in, I believe, what is it? Um, Venice, I believe Venice, California, where they're like creating um, just different products that are geared towards the camera. So like basically each one has their mission. Uh, with TikTok, their whole thing was trying to get you to be a creator and like making uh, being a creator super easy. That's why a lot of people really like their editing platform and just how easy it is for you to be a very uh, entertaining creator on the platform. And entertainment is like one of their number one goals, not necessarily you like finding your people or community. It started off more so of like, we want to bring these tools to people so that they can easily become a creator. Um, if you listen to just like some of the like uh, um, original talks about it, that's like kind of their goal. Uh, and you can see that for each platform or at least in like their purest form. Instagram used to be the platform for photography, which is why um, it used to be <laughs> that um, just photos were the main thing, like a photo feed, chronological order for you to be able to see. Um, honestly, Instagram, Facebook, and the likes have kind of lost the plot. I think everybody's trying to be someone else now. I think even TikTok has like changed. So, um, but in its true form, that was like the original goal. So um, with that, I think you should keep that in mind with whatever platform that you use of like just really figuring out what their mission is. Is it really to help you connect with people? Is it there for your entertainment? And I think TikTok has done a really good job of just being entertaining to the point where it's addictive. And that's why I'm kind of glad I'm not on it. So today we're gonna go over um, some of the reasons why I feel like my life has probably benefited from me not being on TikTok. Um, we'll also go over some reasons of why I think that maybe my life could be better if I were on TikTok. Surprise, surprise. And then uh, a few that are like questions of like, has like being off of it really helped me or is this like just up in the air? So the first one is not as much impulse buying. I feel that if I were on TikTok, I would probably own a lot more things. Uh, right now, I'm very lean when it comes to just like the stuff that I own. I would consider myself, I don't know, it's mediumist a word <laughs> to where it's like I am not like a super minimalist or anything. Like I still, as you'll see, have like some stuffed animals, but like these are like my main two stuffed animals that I have. Um, I also, even with clothes, uh, I am kind of kind of weird to where I've cataloged all of the clothes and shoes and accessories, et cetera, that I own. And I, um, according to my, what I've tracked, everything that I own, I have about 123 pieces. So that's pretty good, especially with me being, especially with me being a geek, like we love buying stuff. So um, the fact that I've been able to keep that low, has definitely saved me a lot of money. And then also just the clarity of like not having too much stuff really love that and i feel that if i were to be on a platform that just uh, i don't know it's always having new products or new trends or new aesthetics put in my face all the time i would probably be more wanting to buy those products to fit into those different trends and aesthetics another thing is um i like my non-filtered face <laughs> and i'm not saying that people on the platform don't but when i was doing research for this video uh, that was one thing that kept coming up is that uh, some of the people in the younger generation were saying how hard it was for them to um recognize i don't know not recognize themselves but like i don't know like there's a difference between their filtered face versus their non-filtered face and just that um cognitive dissonance between the two can kind of mess with them sometimes mentally 
And uh, unfortunately and fortunately, I don't really use filters, though I will say I, I have noticed that some of the cameras that we'll use do have like a slight filter. Like I think with this, it's like my skin's clear, but like not this clear to where I'm like StreamYard probably has like a little something on there to like make, I don't know, enhance a little bit. Um, but even with like just looking in the mirror, I don't feel like there's too much of a difference between um, my filtered and non-filtered face. So I think that really helps. One other thing is music doesn't get spoiled as easily for me. Um, <laughs> but I will say like there was, um, what was the song? Um, Ty Love's Water. Uh, it was a very popular song that like it just went everywhere. That was one that was on TikTok or um, on Instagram as well. And I realized I never actually listened to the full song, but like whenever I'd hear it, after a while, I was like, okay, next song, please. Next. Like, I'm like, don't even play this song just because it played so much. And um, I just happened to come across that trend. So I imagine if I were on TikTok, I probably would have a lot of songs that were ruined for me. So much like how the radio used to do back in the day. Uh, whereas I think with TikTok, it's just like a small bit of the song that just kind of gets ruined for you or like you just get hype when you hear that part. And then it's like, all right, I don't even care about the rest of the song now. Uh, but yeah, that doesn't happen to me often. So sometimes it still does though on Instagram, but not often. And then another thing, um, I feel that I get more time during the day. Uh, there was a time where um, it wasn't TikTok that I was on, but Twitter. To where it's like I felt like Twitter took up <laughs> a lot of my time. Not using Twitter anymore ever since it became X and got taken over by Elon, but um, there was a time where like I was on the platform a lot and I felt like sometimes I'd have days where it's like, what did I do today? Like, I was like, oh, I was just on TikTok, like something was trending and like, or some hot topic was happening and I was just following it passively, but then ended up being actively and like not really doing anything else. Um, whereas now, like I can't remember a day where it was like, oh, I didn't I felt like I, I needed more time in the day. Like I can't think of a day where that has happened, which is really awesome to say. I will say also like I don't have um, kids or anything. So I'm sure that that would be a completely different story uh, if I did have kids. But um, yeah, I, I feel like I have a little bit more time during the day. And then the last one that I think is positive is just uh, I tend to be more present uh, during outings. Um, not necessarily with the people around me because they're typically on their phones and sometimes I'm, I'm on my phone too. Like I will um, re be reading something if they're on their phone or anything, but I do find myself having more moments where I'm kind of just like looking around and like bringing things in. And I know um, whenever I was like super into social media, like sometimes just stuff around me, I never even noticed what was happening. And I also, I think now can notice it with other people. Like when I can tell that other people are like, like just doing this where it's like scrolling through probably TikTok or something or yeah, like this. It's like, wait, is this the motion or is it this? Okay. This is TikTok. This is like dating app stuff, right? Um, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, I can always tell what other people are and it's just so fascinating um, to just people watch, which is something that I like to do anyways. Yes. All right. So I came up also with a few ways where I feel like had I been on TikTok, I would probably be better at these things. So um, and I have about three of them. So the first one is I don't think I'm the best on camera um, and I'm definitely not photogenic. I feel like and like when I say not the best on camera, I think it's more of like the camera confidence, like whenever people are like pose or whatever or like do things I'm kind of just like mm, mm. like <laughs> I don't really have like I don't know the like poses that I see some girls do or some women do and that is one thing to where I've told friends like oh like I'm gonna need you to pose me because I have no idea what to do with anything and I feel like had I been more on social media uh, specifically TikTok where it seems that like you're doing like the different angles and like kind of like lip syncing things, um, I'd probably be more confident. And like going also with that, um, I'm not I'm not as used to editing, which is why these are all unedited. Um, 
that like I can edit a little bit like on uh, different platforms, but it's just not something that's native to me to where it does take a decent amount of time. And the last thing is that I might be a little out of touch on things. Um, I would say that, yeah, like there are trends that I just will probably never know about because I haven't been on the platform. I don't feel like I'm like too out of touch because I do have like friends and like people cover it on YouTube. Uh, uh, but maybe like in the moment, I'm not as um, as in touch, which good or bad, but it is still a thing. So uh, wrapping this up, I want to also cover a few things that uh, may be like up in the air. It's like, is this better? Is this not? So my self-esteem, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think it's like something that's like, oh, like, there is evidence out there that uh, people who spend more time on social media do tend to have lower self-esteem or are more self-critical. Um, though I'm self-critical, <laughs> like I don't need anybody. Like I feel like I'm my own worst enemy. So I don't know, like, would it be worse if I were on social media? Like I can't imagine. <laughs> that would be horrible. Um, and then also like, how has my dopamine been affected? I feel that as humans, if we are not getting like dopamine hits from one thing, we're getting it from another thing to where it's like, for me, TikTok's not my vice, but something else might be. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like I can't definitively say like, oh, like I don't search for like these dopamine hits as much as someone who uses TikTok or like, the whole slot machine thing to where it's like you keep pulling and pulling because like I'll do the pulling on YouTube to where it's like, all right, YouTube, I need you to get better with this algorithm so that I can find something that I like to watch. <laughs> um, and then I put the like out of touch thing here because it's like, am I truly out of touch? Because I feel that while I may miss out on a few of like the smaller trends, um, especially like beauty wise, I don't think... <laughs> Like, thankfully, like, I don't have to, like, pay too, too much attention because I'm not, like, a beauty influencer. I'm also, like, not in school or, like, I don't know, in places where I'm, like, typically putting on a whole bunch of makeup or wanting to show up in that way, like some people are. But um, when it comes to, like, news, I feel that I am pretty in touch just because I follow people on YouTube who kind of do roundups to where I like Michelle McDaniels. Um, I love her. Oh my God. <laughs> so much. My nerdy queen. Um, but with her, it's like she has her thing to where it's like, I rot my brain so you don't have to type of content. So she'll do uh, just roundups of some of the crazy things that uh, she finds on the internet. So I watch that in the background um, while I'm doing things. So I feel like I'm pretty caught up. But who knows? I guess we'll never know. Anyways. <laughs> So those were a few things. Uh, I thought it would be cool to talk uh, about TikTok from someone who doesn't use TikTok and never really has. But I'd love to know your thoughts on the upcoming ban. If you are in the United States, um, just let me know how you're feeling about it. Are you happy that it's happening? Are you scared about what's happening? Do you feel like something's going to intervene where it doesn't happen at all? And then also let me know um, just if you don't use TikTok, what that's been like or if you're cutting back i'd love to know um otherwise thanks so much for watching and if you're into either random talks about technology or things in the technical world like this or anything that's related to stem such as science technology engineering or math make sure to like and subscribe uh, for some more content and i'll see you next time